date, time, time stamp. These are actually data types that you can put inside tables and I've done that for you here. Notice that I've got the date column. It's a date. I've got the time column. It's a time with six milliseconds. I've got the time zone and it's a time six with time zone. So it's going to track where you're inserting or where you're reading data from and it's going to include the time zone that you're in. So someone who's in Chicago is going to see a little bit of a different time than from someone from Ohio. They're going to see it in the perspective of their current time. Now I've also got a time stamp with a six milliseconds and a time zone which is a time stamp six with time zone. So as you look at these data types, you'll often see that they either include or do not include the time zone. And all of that is established when the table is created. Focus on the blue and you can see I've got a time column which is a time open paren six. This is going to be HHMMSS with six N's. Those are the milliseconds and that's how it's going to be stored. This column is going to be called the time time zone underscore column. It's a time six with time zone. So you're going to see it HHMMSS and then all your milliseconds plus the hours and the minutes away from Greenwich Mean Time. So they can track exactly when any row was produced at the exact time with the millisecond and they will know from the time zone how each person around the world would be able to see this from their time perspective. Here you can see we've got the timestamp column as a timestamp 6. So it's going to store things as YYMMDD hours, minutes, seconds with 6 milliseconds. But we have no time zone tracking here. In our final example, we have our time zone column, which is a timestamp 6 with time zone. So it's going to store YYMMDD hours, minutes, seconds, or six milliseconds, plus it will track the time zone. Just in case you really want to be accurate, this is exactly how Teradata is going to store things in a number of bytes internally. As you can see, our date is going to be stored internally as four bytes. It's a four byte integer. That's actually pretty important to know for a wide variety of reasons. But then the time with milliseconds is going to be six bytes. The time with the zone is going to be eight bytes. The time stamp is going to be 10 bytes. And the time stamp with zone is going to be 12 bytes. Make a note of it. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Serving the data warehousing needs of the world for 20 years. Check out CoughingDW.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coughing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.